Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back from India. It was a very short trip, but an amazing trip to be able to spend time with family for over Diwali was special. But it's nice to be back in the kitchen and start cooking. So last night when we arrived, the first thing we always cook when I come back is dal rice because that's what the whole family loves and it's just easy to make and easy on the stomach as well. But today I am back with a brand new recipe from uh, the series Cook the Book. Uh, I've been sent loads of lovely books and this is a new book called Kolkata by Rinku Dutt and um, she is a friend and this book is all about food from Kolkata. Um, I did co cover some recipes from Kolkata in my book Chai Chat and Chutney where I covered their street food and I absolutely love Kolkata food and I've been desperate to try something from here. So I have chosen an Indo-Chinese chicken. So let's get cooking. And before I start cooking, can I please respect, please res request you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you get notification every time I share a new recipe because if you don't hit that button, then you might miss some of the recipes and I try and share at least two recipes a week. So let's get cooking. So this is quite a quick uh, recipe and I have shared chili chicken before. This is not the way I cook it, which is why it's exciting. It's not, it's a new way for me to try as well. So I'm going to start by roughly chopping one onion, four garlic cloves and a little piece of ginger. So in the blender, I'm going to put the onion, the garlic and also the piece of ginger. Then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of water and then blitz it into a smooth paste. So I'm just going to transfer the paste into a big bowl and add the rest of the ingredients. So with the mixture goes in two tablespoons of dark soya sauce. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of black pepper one egg, one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. Just going to give it a good whisk. I'm going to add two tablespoons of corn flour. Just make sure there are no lumps and it's a nice smooth marinade. So I have got here eight uh, chicken thighs, no skin, no bone and um, the recipe asks for around eight, uh, 500 grams but this is around a bit more, it's around 800 but that should work absolutely fine. Um, it's the amount around eight thighs is good for our dinner for four of us. So that should work really good. And I'm going to chop this chicken into like a one inch, literally bite sized pieces like this. So I'm going to do that with all of this chicken. So the chicken is ready and now it goes into the marinade. Now this could rest for two hours or if you have time and if you've remembered to kind of do this overnight um, then yeah you could let it sit overnight as well. As you can see like I said there is enough marinade for um, eight chicken thighs. Uh, it weighed around 800 grams and I haven't got so much time but I'm going to let it sit for at least an hour. Moving on to the coating, I'm going to take four 
tablespoons of corn flour here nice heaped tablespoons I'm going to add four tablespoons of plain flour to this and also half a teaspoon of salt goes in and then just quick mix and meanwhile I have got here some sunflower oil in which I'm going to fry the chicken so I have got the chicken in here now if you are resting this in the fridge take it out uh, 40 minutes beforehand get it to room temperature and then do the coating so I'm going to get a piece of chicken and then just roll it in. I'm going to, not going to do it by hand just going to use my left hand to kind of get this oops chicken nice and coated so that's going to be a few minutes job I'm going to do all of the pieces and get it ready while the oil is heating up nicely so the oil is extremely nice and hot it doesn't mention the temperature of the oil but I would imagine it would be around 170 anyways I've coated a plate full I've still got some left I'm gonna first start frying this so in hot oil I'm gonna cook this for around two to three minutes until they are golden and crispy and because they are small pieces it shouldn't take very long to cook so it's been three minutes and uh, these are looking gorgeous so I'm going to start taking the small ones out and I'm going to put them on some kitchen roll to absorb the excess oil. Once the first round is out, I'm going to fry the next round and I'm going to fry all of them. So it's all a bit of a mess. There's chicken, there's flour, some of them dipped and some fried and this will all, I'm going to finish cooking all of this first. For the sauce, uh, I'm going to, for the gravy or the sauce, I'm going to chop up uh, six garlic cloves, also some red pepper, some green pepper and a couple of red onions. I'm going to start making the gravy in a hot pan, two to three tablespoons of rapeseed oil or sunflower oil gonna add in the chopped up garlic and just give it a minute so I'm just gonna quickly chop up one red chili right in goes the red chili so I'm doing all of this on high heat and I'm just gonna try and separate the onions oh well And after a couple of minutes, I add the green and the red pepper and give it another couple of minutes. I'm going to continue doing this on high heat. Now, while I give this two minutes, I'm just going to put together all the sauces that go into the onion mix. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Three tablespoons of ketchup. Uh, the recipe is asking for sweet chili sauce and I just don't have sweet chili sauce which is quite a surprise actually and I realized that actually I don't use sweet chili sauce at all. So instead of that I'm just going to add some sriracha or any kind of chili sauce but you can at home add sweet chili sauce tablespoon of sriracha
so it's been a couple of minutes and they just kind of still very crunchy beautiful I'm going to add all the sauces to this what we've just mixed and give it a minute oh it smells so nice so been a minute now I'm going to add in all the chicken which is quite a lot actually maybe I should have um, stayed with 500 grams and not increased it but hey ho I might need a bigger pan just gonna throw in some um, coriander and give it a really good mix And I am going to serve this with a very, very quick fried rice. Um, I'm going to make a nice egg fried rice. You can find the recipe on the channel. I'll leave the link in the description. So I haven't got any leftover rice, but I'm making some quick rice to go with the chili chi uh, with the chicken. And there it is, Indo-Chinese chicken. It smells incredible. And I obviously, you, can, you know what I've put in it, so I know it's going to be super delicious. I did steal some fried chicken earlier on because... I, I, <laughs> that was my son sneezing, so sorry about that. I was saying that um, seeing what all has gone inside, this we know is going to be super delicious. Mmm, and it is. Mmm. So good, man. Oh. I can easily eat this on its own, but I'm going to serve it on top of some uh, rice. Mmm. The chicken is so moist, not dry at all and that's what makes it so delicious everything is very very balanced i really hope you will give this a go don't forget to subscribe all the details of the book in the description box and i'll see you back here very soon with another new recipe bye for now mm. Mm.